Hi everyone! Welcome back to the channel. Um, welcome to new subscribers. I don't know where you're coming from, but I'm very glad to have you here. This is going to be a reading for the week ahead. So what's going to happen on the channel this week? I need a little bit of a break. I am experiencing some spiritual burnout. Um, I had some, a lot of healing and a lot of releasing, a lot of grief and a lot of letting go this weekend. Um, I am deciding to let go of my person, my divine counterpart. Um, that has been a process um, throughout the separation that I've been experiencing. Um, not letting go of the love. The love is always going to be there, but um, it is becoming evident that he does not want anything to do with me. Now, I know we can't focus on the 3D. I understand that. Um, but I increasingly feel disconnected from him and it's becoming more and more evident that he wants nothing to do with me, <laughs> even though all I've ever done is love him. Um, I'm truly not taking responsibility for a separation. That was a choice made by him, and I truly want the best for him. I truly want you know, him to have a wonderful life and a great journey, and I had wanted that for us to be together, um, for us to do that together, for us to grow together, um, but it seems as if we've reached a point in our journey where we're not growing together. And um, that's important in connection. That is vital in connection. You have to be able to grow together. One person can grow and the other remains stagnant. That just, it doesn't work. It just doesn't work. And um, I've had to really go within and be honest with myself. You know, I've been holding myself back a little bit because I want him to grow with me. And maybe he's seeing, you know, maybe he's seeing that, that he's growing too and that I'm not growing at his pace. I don't know. I don't know what he's feeling, but, you know, we're not communicating. We're not being honest with each other. And uh, I don't think we're even being honest with ourselves. And I had to go within and be honest with myself and say to myself that I want partnership and I want relationship and I want to grow together with somebody and I can't hold myself back. Um, not for anybody, and I've said that all the time on this channel, on this journey, but, you know, this is me <laughs> being humble enough to know that I wasn't fully embracing it. Um, I was acknowledging it consciously, but I wasn't feeling it, and, and that's the important thing. To acknowledge something consciously, to think something consciously, is different from fully embracing it and experiencing it. And feeling it. And um, that's that's where I... Hold on. My phone's going off. <laughs> Sorry. That's where I am. Um, I need to acknowledge and accept that he does not currently want me in his life. Um, doesn't mean that I don't have faith that someday maybe we'll reunite and have a conversation and come back together. You know, I'll always believe that he's my person. I'll always believe that he is my big love, my great love. Um, he is the person that I want to spend my life with. And if I want to be honest with myself, anybody else will feel like settling. But in the meantime, I want a life of happiness. <laughs> I want to be happy. I want him to be happy. And part of that happiness for myself is just accepting this breakup for what it was and moving forward. And I'm having a lot of trouble doing that, so bear with me. It's been a, a tough weekend, as any breakup will be. You know, it's it's accepting where you are. That's what you have to do. Accept where you are, accept where the other person is, and um, that's where I'm fighting myself. Just accepting what this is, and it is a breakup, a breakup of a relationship, a breakup of a friendship. Uh, we were best friends. Um, I don't think I'll ever understand why he uh, cut me off. Um, I understand that he was in pain. I understand that he was, you know, experiencing something. Um, and I'm sorry for that, you know. But um, I also know that I take responsibility for my actions. I acknowledge my actions, and I also know that in this instance, I didn't do anything. <laughs> I didn't do anything but love him. I didn't do anything but want to be close to him, um, but express myself. And uh, 
that's just what it is. And I'm not putting blame on him. There's no blame here. You know, if anything, there's nothing but love and forgiveness and understanding and compassion for him. Um, it's just... This is what it is. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is uh, take some time for myself. I'm going to take some time out this week. I'm going to try to do the daily energy draws tomorrow, so they might be a little bit late. Um, so I apologize for that. If we have daily energy draws this week, I'm going to try to do them tomorrow on Monday. There's going to be no live streams this week. Um, I might come on. You know, it depends on how I'm feeling and things. If I'm feeling the shift and if I'm feeling the push from spirit, I might come on and do a reading. But... For the most part, I'm going to focus on personal readings, catching up on those, um, and services. So if you guys have booked a service with me, I'm going to focus on those so you guys will have them. And if you're interested in a service, feel free to reach out to me at susandonspiritual.com. Um, you know, I come on here not as a teacher so much, but just as somebody who is right here with you. So I don't put myself above you guys at all. I'm, as you can tell, I'm right here with you guys, experiencing this with you guys, and what I'm doing on this channel is just sharing what I've learned along this journey through channeling, through spirit, through my own experiences. So when I am doing readings for you guys, I am channeling and I'm channeling guidance for you. And when I'm doing coaching with you guys, I am sharing channelings as well and my own experiences. So you guys know that I am not above you. I don't consider myself above you by any means. I am right alongside you um, on this journey with you, sharing this experience with you. So the reason why I share myself is to let you guys know that you're not alone with what you're experiencing. You're not alone with what you're feeling. This is a very tough journey. It is a journey of soul growth. It is a journey of evolution. And I recognize that, you know, even though the 3D sucks, you know, I have to live my life <laughs> and, you know, understand that happiness is my choice and I'm choosing to be happy despite the circumstances. And, I have to let go of the circumstances and accept the circumstances in order to move forward with my life. And um, the circumstances right now are that my divine counterpart doesn't want anything to do with me. Um, there's a little part of me. <sighs> there is a little part of me that questions if he even loves me, but I know that's just my own ego. That's just my own fear. And I am working through that right now. Um, but it's accepting where we are and just knowing that I already forgive him and I still love him. <laughs> that's just, that's just what it is. I'm never going to stop loving him. You know, I moved through anger. I moved through betrayal. I moved through abandonment and I still loved him. That's how I know that I want the best for him. Um, I want him to journey on. <laughs> I want him to grow into whoever it is that he wants to become that's how I know that this is unconditional love because with or without me, I love him. And um, there's always going to be that part of me that wishes it could have been with me, but I understand and respect that it's not. And so it's time for me to just accept that and, you know, live my best life, my best life possible. You know, still move forward with my dreams, still move forward with my adventures. And I want a big life for myself. I want a big love and I want a big life. And I'm excited for life. You know, despite the pain I'm in right now, like I'm excited for life because I know that it's always going to be unfolding. Um, so I'm still going to be doing these readings. You know, I'm still going to be, you know, of service to you guys. You know, my divine masculine is still my divine masculine. You know, in separation and communication or not, um, that doesn't matter. You know, the love is still there. Um, whether we're ever come back together or not, you know, I still feel that love for him and that connection. And most importantly, I still feel that connection to myself and to spirit. And that is what this journey is really about. It's about unconditional love. It's about soul growth. It's about evolution. And so I'm still going to be doing my job, which is channeling forth messages for you, for this journey, for the collective. That is what I'm here for. That is what I'm meant to do to connect and to, you know, help you understand yourself and your own experiences and your own connections. That is what lights me up. And I'm not going to stop doing that. So, oops. I'm going to a hockey game with one of my favorite people, my dad. So this is going to be super quick.
Let me just shut that off. So this is going to be super quick, so bear with me. But um, yeah, so I am still going to be doing readings. Um, I'll pop on, you know, this week if I feel called to. But for the most part, I'm going to take some downtime to myself, focus on my clients, um, focus on the personal reading. So feel free to book with me if you are interested. I'm also running the limited time offer $5 one card poll if you like the daily energy draw. So reach out to me for that. Um, what else? Um, yes, so this weekend I am going away and that's going to be really important for me because I need some time to see a very dear friend and just have fun, <laughs> have fun and ground myself and just, you know, kind of step away from the spiritual studies and the healing and the energy work that I've been doing. So this um, week I'm really going to focus on myself and self-care this week and self-love. So I am going to take a step back from the channel. I thank you guys um, in advance for your support and your pre and your time and your love and your um, understanding of this and your appreciation of that um, because I know that you guys understand how difficult energy work can be. Um, it, it takes a lot. It takes a lot. And especially when you're on the journey yourself, there's a lot going on. <laughs> um, but I feel called to just really ground my energy, step back from the spiritual studies and the healing work and energy work. Like I said, I'm still booking clients, so I'm still here for you guys if you want to book a session. Um, but I'm going to be working on projects. I'm working on book number four. I have a very special project coming um, that I'm working on that I will announce hopefully at the end of the month. Hopefully it'll be ready by then um, for this business, for um, this community. So I'm excited for that. And um, I have some events lined up and um, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go take a little vacation. <laughs> I'm going to go to New York, visit a friend, and just take a little bit of a vacation and just have some fun. And I'm looking forward to that. I need that. It's been a long time since I've been away. <laughs> I need to get away. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is just pull some cards for the week ahead from you and uh, see what is going on with the collective. See what you might be experiencing. Oops, that's too many. Um, and what you can look forward to. That's my intention for this video. What can you look forward to for the week ahead? Um, like I said, if I am called to hop on, I will hop on because I do love channeling. I do love pulling cards for you guys. I do love, um, you know, seeing what's going on with the collective. Um, you guys light me up. You guys are part of my joy. And I appreciate this community and I appreciate this outlet and I appreciate this job so much, so much. So I will come on as I am called to. Yeah. So I don't think that what I'm experiencing is singular to me. I know some of you have reached out to me. Some of my clients have reached out to me saying that things have been a little bit difficult for them. Um, you guys might be feeling a little bit neglected. That's the word that comes to mind. This left out in the cold, this five of pentacles. But neglected is what I'm hearing. Neglected in this relationship. Uh, neglected in this connection. You might be feeling like you're all alone here. Um, and I'm here to tell you that you're not. Um, no matter what you're going through with your divine counterpart, you're not alone on this journey. Understand that first and foremost. You are not alone. Not only do you have this community, not only do you have me, but you have spirit behind you. Your whole spirit team is behind you. And what I'm hearing is they're asking you to connect back to yourself. Connect back to yourself and connect back to spirit. And that is what I've been channeling for clients because most of my clients, they don't even want the divine partnership reading. They want spiritual guidance for their own soul's growth. Um, with regards to this connection, yes, but that's what we're really doing here on this channel and on this journey and for my clients is understanding is first and foremost about connection to you. So where are you neglecting yourself and I'll admit fully that I was neglecting myself um, with regards to my connection because I was so focused on my connection um, and so I was neglecting myself now that was you know that's that's not so much this time but that has been in the past I'd really neglected myself um, I've been really focused on self-care this time but some of you might be feeling this some of you might be feeling abandoned some of you might be f feeling rejected some of you might be feeling like the tables turned and now you're left out in the cold. If you are, where are you neglecting yourself? Where are you holding yourself back? Where are you withholding love for yourself? And what I'm also hearing is, where are you withholding love for others? Because there's a quote that they're calling me to that I just read and they reminded me of it. I read it this week and it says, if you are, oh, I'm going to get this wrong. 
I go crazy when I'm channeling. I don't remember anything. What did I just read? It's, um, if you are feeling, basically if you're feeling depleted, if you're feeling defeated, if you feel like you can't give any more, then give more. Give more to yourself. And you give more to yourself by allowing yourself to receive. You don't hold back from yourself. What is it that you want? What is it that you need? What is it that your heart is calling you for? What is it that your soul is calling you for? Where are you withholding that from yourself? Connect back to yourself. That's what they want you to do. Connect back to yourself. And that is how you fill up your cup and connect back to others. Okay. So self-care this week might be very important to you guys. Yeah. So we have the fool here. Connect back to yourself for this new beginning, for this fresh start. Not just for your relationship, but for you. For you and your life. Where do you need to start anew? This could be a new belief. This could be a new job. This could be a new career. This could be a new home. This could be a new relationship. This could be a new friendship. Um, this could be a new you. Where do you need to take the leap of faith for you, for your new you? Yes, for this connection as well. Um, for those of you who are in communication and who are moving forward with your connection, take that leap of faith. But most importantly, take that leap of faith for yourself. Because where are you holding yourself back? Where are you keeping yourself out in the cold? Where are you neglecting yourself and what you want? What your soul is calling for? What your heart is calling for? Where are you, where are you withholding love for yourself? Don't hold yourself back anymore. Take that leap of faith. This fool, the end of the major arcana is the world card. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that, oh, I just wanted to make sure we didn't have that at the bottom of the deck. But, oh my gosh, look. Okay, so we have the Ace of Cups. And we have the Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. This is a fresh new start. Be honest with yourself. Be honest with your person if you're in connection with your person. Um, but most importantly, be honest in general. Be honest and communicate what it is that you need to say. Don't withhold communication from yourself. Don't withhold communication from others. Be honest and you will be victorious. And they're pointing me to the bird and I don't know what that bird is. Um, but they're pointing me to the bird. If anybody has uh, symbolism with the birds, um, I don't know what that means. Okay, they just told me. For those of you who are in no communication, no contact, who are in so-called separation, because remember you're never truly separate. Um, you're always connected, always through, connected through love. It's that saying, if you love something, set it free. And if it's meant to be, it'll come back to you. Be honest with yourself. Where were you still holding on? Where were you still keeping yourself in a cage? Where were you still keeping yourself kind of trapped within this connection? Where do you need to let go? Because true love is freedom. And I'm going to post a link in the description box below. Um, I, I can't remember the name, but there's a Buddhist monk who has a beautiful description of what unconditional love really is. And it's about loving lightly. It's about loving gently. It's about loving unconditionally with a sense of freedom. And that's truly what we're learning here on this journey with this connection. And it's not just about the other person. It's about ourselves as well. And if we're focusing too much on the other person, then we negate ourselves. Then we just abandon ourselves. And we just leave ourselves out in the cold. Conversely, um, if we are focused too much on ourselves and we withhold from other people, then we're neglecting a part of ourselves because a part of ourselves is meant to love and connect with other people. So where are you holding yourself back? Where are you holding yourself out in the cold? You're keeping yourself trapped here. Let go. Let go and be free. However this is resonating for you, let go and be free. Let go of your fears. Let go of whatever it is that's keeping you trapped, that's holding you back. Even if it is communication, if you need to communicate, whether that's with yourself or with another person, if you're not communicating, you're not expressing yourself, then you're just keeping yourself trapped by suppressing your emotions. That is a case of entrapment as well. And they're calling me to this. My divine counterpart a number of times sent me a meme that said um, something along the lines, and I wish I could find it. Um, give me a second. I'm, I am going to find it. Because I feel like it's important. It is. It 
it's, it's about communication and about the importance of communication. And it's been a while since we have talked, so hold on. I have a lot of messages to go through. <laughs> it says, communication is not the key to a successful relationship. Comprehension is. It doesn't matter how much you communicate with a person. If they don't get shit, what good is communication? Well, yes. Comprehension is important. Understanding is important. Because compassion is important. Because empathy is important. You understand on a spiritual level what a person is saying because you're connected through energy. You're connected through vibes. But if you're not communicating, and there's a number of ways to communicate. Communication can be through words. Communication can be through expression. Communication can be through art. Communication can be through letters. Communication can be through eye contact. Communication can be through quality time spent together. You know, the greatest times that you spend together with your counterpart are when you're not saying a word, but that you understand each other fully. One of my favorite memories with my divine counterpart are when we were just sitting at this dam and eating, and it was like a dance. We didn't have to say anything, but we knew you know, when to trade off with food. We knew what the other person was feeling. We knew what the other person was wanting. We knew what the other person was thinking just from being that connected. That is communication. Communication isn't always words, but when you're blocking communication, you're just suppressing the expression of the self. So however, there's a number of different love languages. However it is that you express yourself, however it is that you communicate, that is vital to a relationship. That is vital to a, a connection. Where are you not expressing yourself? Where are you not communicating yourself? Where are you not being free and just holding yourself back? Where are you not letting yourself go is what I just heard. Where are you not letting yourself go with that bird there? Where are you trapping yourself in a self-imposed cage? Let yourself fly. Let yourself be free. What's meant for you will come to you. That's another alternative message here. What is meant to you will come to you. And that can either come to you in the physical or it could come to you as a download in the heart of what your next step should be. But if you express yourself and you communicate yourself through this love, this new beginning of love, this ace of cups, through love, everything is possible through love. And self-love especially, that is where you create your victory. That is where you create your new beginning. And so with the full card, what I was starting to say was the world is the end of a cycle. The world is the end of a journey in the major arcana. But then you start over with the fool. And it's a beautiful representation. The world card is a beautiful representation. It's a circle. And that is life. It is that cycle of life. It is that circle of life. There is no beginning and no end. When one journey starts, a new one begins. And we have been closing out cycles. We've been letting that go, um, especially letting go of the past so that we can move into our future, our more abundant future, they want to say. Your more abundant future. They're, they're giving me the word harvest. Um, this is your harvest. And I still don't quite know what that means because <laughs> my manifestations are coming in little by little. Um, but they're kind of smiling at me. They're kind of laughing at me. They're like, just wait, just wait. <laughs> it's okay, spirit. I'm waiting. <laughs> but your harvest is coming. Your abundance is coming in because a new cycle has started. And what's happened is you had to close out the old in order for the new to begin. But you don't just close at the old and it's like the door is firmly shut. No, you carry that with you. This fool here is wiser for what he has experienced on his past journey. And so now he is armed with all of his tools. Um, the magician is the next card. It is, you know, he's armed with wisdom. He is armed with love and self-love. He is armed with knowledge and clarity and truth. He is armed with passion and excitement and confidence to take action. He is armed with that physical grounding, a groundedness, an understanding of, I'm hearing both planes, um, as both levels of consciousness, carrying that forward, the pentacles, stability, security. He is armed with all the tools that he needs and they are there in that little backpack for him, in that knapsack. They are there. And so that is why the fool is not a fool at all. He is wise beyond his years. That is why he can confidently take that leap of faith. 
because he knows that he is armed with everything he needs for this new start, for this reset, the zero card, for this new beginning. And so are you. And so are you. And I'm looking at this spread here, and we have the Five of Pentacles to the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Cups, then the Fool card being that new beginning. You have everything that you need to move from this neglect, abandonment, betrayal, being left out in the cold, rejection, whatever it is, this fear that was keeping you trapped to these new beginnings which are setting you free. But you have to take that leap of faith for your own life. What is it that you want for your life? Don't let that mental entrapment hold you back anymore because this was you. You were just doing this to yourself. You were just keeping yourself out in the cold. Okay, spirit. Let's get another set of cards. What do we have for the week ahead? What do we have for the week ahead? Week ahead. Time zero. Okay. What do we have for the week ahead? Crap. Hold on. Okay. I need to get one more. It's this one. That's beautiful. I love this deck. This is the pre vacuolate tarot um, that I was gifted from one of my very best friends and soul sisters who just had a baby. So congratulations to her. Um, we have the hermit. We have the, what is this? The page of wands. And we have the five of cups. So I'm going to start with the five of cups. What I love about this Five of Cups, traditionally the Five of Cups is there's three cups in front of you and a hooded figure kind of slunched over in remorse and regret, and there's two cups behind him that are still standing upright that he doesn't even see. The person doesn't even see. What I love about these is this is almost giving me Four of Cups energy where there is that cup that is being presented by the universe but you're so closed off that you're not even seeing the opportunity. You're not even seeing what's being offered. You're not even seeing the love that's there. She's drinking from the cup. Not only is she, this is an energy of reflection. We also have the hermit, which has given me that energy as well. Not only does she see all of these cups that are here, but she's drinking from the cup. She's choosing to drink from the cup. And so the energy that I'm getting from here, and again, it's that forward momentum energy. It might be a little bit slow going, but it is for momentum. You or your counterpart, or both of you, are going within to self-reflect, guided by that lantern, guided by your wisdom, guided by everything that you have learned on this journey so far, going in to reflect in order to take action. The page is an energy of action. It's an energy of eagerness. Um, but with the wisdom of the hermit, it's not, it's not a young energy that I'm getting. This is wisdom that I'm getting. This is consciousness that I'm getting. This is awakening that I'm getting. This is an eagerness, but it's not impulsive, which the page can sometimes be impulsive. Um, this is an energy of paired with the hermit card, and these two flew out together. Paired with the hermit card, this is an energy of I'm ready for my new beginning. I'm ready to take action, and I'm excited, and I'm eager. I'm eager to take that leap of faith. I'm eager to go after what it is that I want. But it's with this wisdom. It's with this it's sage energy. It's with this wisdom that I've gained. And now I am using my own inner light to guide me on this path. And I might be going in to reflect on how to do that. That's part of this energy as well. She's drinking from the cup and she's in reflective mode. You see how she's kind of just, you know, I don't know how else to put it. She's just in reflective mode. She's just kind of um, sitting there contemplating, just kind of thinking about it. She's thinking about, they're just pouring me to the number five. She's thinking about this change and what it's going to mean to her. And there's a smile on her face. She knows it's going to be positive because she's taking that leap of faith towards her new life. She's filling up her cup. And she is speaking her truth towards victory. It's going to be victorious. And you have the crown on the sword here. This is victory. So this week might be one of contemplation before any action is taken, but even that contemplation they're saying is forward momentum. Even that contemplation is um, 
remarking, uh, remarking, uh, reflecting on the journey thus far and the journey that you want to take now, that leap of faith that you want to take now. So some of you might be seeing actual action, um, but for the greater part of you, the energy that I'm getting from this, at least for the collective that I'm picking up on here, the segment of the collective I'm picking up on here, it's, it's an energy of reflection. It's an energy of, it's just, it feels like wisdom. It just feels like some kind of clarity is gained, some kind of shift in perspective is understood. And it's that, remember when I said in the beginning that I was consciously aware of it, but I didn't fully sink into it, I wasn't fully feeling it? That's this energy here. It's that self-mastery energy. It's that you can know something consciously, but until you're ready, you won't fully feel into it. And this is that energy of feeling into it. Contemplating, reflection, letting your own wisdom, no, this one, letting your own wisdom guide you. I'm also hearing you might be receiving understanding and wisdom from others. So don't negate others on this journey who are providing that for you, who are helping to provide clarity. Now, it's always trusting your own intuition, but others can serve as guides for you. Others can, you know, even a word or a saying or a meme or a quote or a song that they send can help to illuminate, even if they're not consciously aware of it. You know, there are always guides for you on this journey. Um, you might also be receiving synchronicities, dreams. Everything serves its purpose, that spirit. This is connecting to spirit as well. But this is this is your own wisdom, which is spiritual wisdom, which is connecting to spirit. This is your own wisdom. And as you gain that wisdom, where am I? <laughs> as you gain that wisdom, it's this. It's it's that ready to take action, ready to move forward, ready to move forward. And let me get one more. That indecisive energy is coming to a close. It's coming to a close. Clarity is being had and decisions are being made. Decisions for your life. That blindfold is coming off. That blindfold is not serving you. It's just holding you back. It's just keeping you trapped in this energy. You have to take that leap of faith. And I'm actually hearing another message with the blindfold. Sometimes you have to take a blind leap of faith. Sometimes you have to make a blind decision. Follow your heart and make a blind decision. And Now where is it? Oh, sorry guys, already shuffled. <laughs> sometimes, wherever that card was, wherever the Two of Swords is, sometimes you have to, you know, take that blind leap of faith and just go for it. Sometimes you have to, but that's also trusting yourself. That's also following your own inner light, your own guidance, your own heart. It's also following that. Okay, let's get... Yeah, what did I say? The hanged man. What did I say? That shift in perspective. New clarity. New clarity. Um, being illuminated. That's just confirmation for what we were saying with the hermit here. Okay. And we have the tower at the bottom of the deck. That clarity might be coming through as a tower moment. But the tower moment is nothing to be afraid of. Because it's not the shake-ups shake anymore. Tower moments are now beautiful breakthroughs. It's a how moment. It's epiphanies. It's an oh my God. It's the hanged man. It's being illuminated. It's being enlightened. It's having a shift in perspective. That's what the tower moments are now going forward, especially as you have ascended, especially as you've had that shift in consciousness. Okay. Um, what am I going to do? Where are we? 33. Okay. Um, let me see if there's any other messages with the tarot. I'm going to pull a romance angels for you guys. And then I'm going to close out and wish you guys a wonderful, wonderful week. Yeah, we're in a little bit of a timeout right now. We're in a little bit of a pause. But it's only because that clarity is being had, only because more healing is being had, only because um, it's being honest with yourself. It's breaking free from that mental entrapment to take that leap of faith and going within with that Herman energy, with that Five of Cups energy, the change. Again, they're pointing me to the number five with the Five of Cups. It's an energy of change. And here, this energy with this card, with this visual, is contemplation. It's um, going within, trusting yourself, contemplating the past, contemplating how did you do things before? And do you really want to do that going forward? No. <laughs> Spirit's giving the answer. No. They want to make this change. You want to make this change. Spirit wants you to make this change. Because the old way of doing things 
weren't serving you. The old things of communicating weren't serving you. The old thing, way of holding yourself back wasn't serving you. The old way of loving wasn't serving you. The old way of holding on wasn't serving you. The old patterns, the old beliefs, the old conditioning wasn't serving you. And so now might be feeling a little bit of remorse, a little bit of that energy is coming through, a, lot, a little bit of that regret might be coming through, but don't wallow in this. Don't keep yourself trapped in this energy. Again, we have two fives. Make that change. Take that leap of faith for yourself, for yourself. So with that Seven of Pentacles energy, um, this might be a little bit of a pause as you go within for this reflection, but do you see the Pentacles that have grown here? You're about, this is your abundance. By you consciously making the decision that you don't want to sit in that energy anymore, of that victimhood, of the guilt, of the remorse, of the regret, of any past patterns, of any past trauma, of any past pain, by you making that conscious decision, you're already planting the seeds for your harvest, for your future. And as you plant those seeds, you're getting ready to take action. You're getting ready to take that leap of faith, that bold leap of faith. Anything else? Anything else for the week ahead? Not feeling any energy from those two cards. Anything? Anything else? I feel like there's another message that wants to come through, so let's see what we have. Is there anything else? What else do we have for the week ahead? It's that Nine of Cups, yeah. If you want your wishes, if you want fulfillment, step out of the fear of holding yourself back, of keeping yourself out in the cold, of rejecting yourself, rejecting your harvest, rejecting your own abundance, rejecting your own happiness. Stop playing the same story over in your head of you're not deserving or you're not worth it or you can't have it. That's the message from spirit. It's time to go within. Where is that? It's time to go within. Let your heart lead you. Let your inner light lead you towards your nine of cups. What is it that you want to manifest? What is it that you want to create for your life? Like I said, I want big love and I want a big life. I want adventure and excitement and I have big dreams. That's my nine of cups and I don't want to hold myself back anymore. And I was holding myself back. That's me being honest with myself. I was holding myself back. And I don't want to hold myself back anymore. I want to take my leap of faith. And um, part of that leap of faith is doing it without my divine counterpart. Like I had dreamed of when we first reunited, when we first came together. I had dreamed of doing it with him. And part of my leap of faith is knowing that I have to jump. And if he wants to jump with me, then he'll be there. That's this energy of the bird. You know, let go, let go, and what's meant for you will come to you. What's meant for you will always be meant for you. But I have to take that leap of faith first. I have to move forward first. And I've been single for a very long time. That's not a problem for me. But I'll be honest, my divine counterpart awoken me a new dream of partnership, of big love. And um, he also taught me that once that was awakened in me, I also had to let go of it. To come back to myself, to come back to myself and understand how I would be in partnership and what I do want for partnership, what I do want for a relationship. And I want independence in a relationship. I want us both to be, you know, independently whole and happy, but in partnership. I don't want anything that holds us back from ourselves. And as we are independent and happy, independence for me doesn't mean you know, not being with somebody. Independence means being authentically me. Independence means, you know, being free, but in commitment, because commitment is a value for me. It's very important to me that cherishing somebody, treasuring somebody, being loyal to somebody and devoted to somebody is important to me. But if I want to be honest with myself, and that's what I'm getting down to, especially this past few days, getting down to being honest with myself, I was neglecting myself. I wasn't being so independent. I wasn't being so authentically me because I was holding myself back still. And that's what I am. Um, I'm not going to take all those. <laughs> like half the deck flew out. I'm not going to take all that. I think we're done. 
And there's the Knight of Pentacles, slow and steady, slow and steady, but something grounded and stable. An offer of loyalty, an offer of commitment. That's what it is. Um, you know, that's what this partnership is. It's about not being afraid to be you, not being afraid to have your own dreams, not being, you know, that's what freedom in love truly is. It's not being chained to the other person. It's loving them. And yes, wanting to spend quality time with them, wanting to spend every minute with them, but not in a way that it chains you. That's, that's the old paradigm. That's the old way of doing relationships. This love is free. And what I'm learning is that I have to let it go. I have to let it breathe. We have to free ourselves. And, you know, like I said, if my person, if I take that leap of faith for my life, then I'm taking it for my life. And if my person wants to join me, if my person, you know, is still there and wants to take that leap of faith with me, then I embrace them in open arms. But I can't hold myself back if I'm taking that leap of faith for my life anymore. And if this is resonating with you guys, let me know in the description box below. This is, you know, I am channeling here. I am, you know, channeling through my filter right now, um, but I am channeling right now. So I do believe that that's, you guys might be resonating with this as well. So let me know if this is resonating with you. This is what I'm learning. Um, and the messages that I'm getting are helping me understand that and helping me embrace that. So this is, this is a beautiful reading. It's a beautiful reading. I appreciate it because it's kind of like I'm reading for myself as well. Okay, what do we have for romance angels? Actually, you got, well, I'll, I said I would, so I'm going to pull a romance 4141. I'm going to pull a romance angel for you guys. You guys, the sinks, I've been seeing 717 everywhere. I've been saying 444. I've been saying 222 everywhere, everywhere. Um, it's just reminding me to be in alignment, just reminding me that you're on the right path, just reminding me that we're so protected and so guided and so unbelievably loved. You are so unbelievably loved and you are not alone. You're not alone on this journey. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Okay. What did we just, okay. So we have free yourself on the bottom of the deck. <laughs> And what this is saying is free yourself from that five of pentacles energy. Free yourself from that mental entrapment. Free yourself from holding yourself back. Love yourself first. Disconnect to reconnect is what I'm hearing. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Disconnect to reconnect. Now, we got this message um, and it's coming through right now with the energy. Some of you guys, we got this message on the daily energy draw from Friday, some of you guys might be in contact with your divine counterpart and some of you might actually be spending quality time and going on a retreat, going on a vacation, going on um, just spending like quality time together, just going away and traveling together. Um, even if this is like just being at home with each other with nobody else around, I'm getting that you are reconnecting with each other and it's kind of like you're putting a bubble around each other so that you can reconnect and reunite and reconcile. Um, and now the bubble is not a bad thing. It's just you're kind of like going off so that you can get to know each other again and reconnect and and understand each other and spend that quality time together that's the energy that I'm getting here but for others it's disconnect to reconnect you have to disconnect um, from other things in your life in order to reconnect back to yourself and fill up your cup and love yourself first okay this is a, a tough love reading <laughs> this feels like a tough love reading um, but I hope it's resonating with you guys. And if it's not resonating at all, don't take it. It's not your story. That's it. Simple. That's it. If it's not resonating at all, it just means it's not for you. So, um, check out other readings. Um, check out the playlists. Uh, because I will be mostly gone this week, um, check out the channeled messages, which are timeless and which have a lot of important information about what union actually is, what union actually means, what relationship and connection actually means, especially on this journey, on this path. Um, also check out the pick piles. Um, those are meant to be timeless as well. So that's a fun, um, if you want to get more information on your connection, um, you can check out the pick piles and see how they're feeling, messages from spirit, guidance, all that good stuff. So check those out in the meantime, while I am retreating and disconnecting and trying to re-experience re -experience life. I'm going to get a song. What do we have for this week? Elvis Presley, I can't help falling in love with you. 
And what they actually just told me, um, wise men say only fools rush in, but I can't help falling in love with you. I can't, I'm going to cry. <laughs> I can't help taking that leap of faith towards you. I can't help the love that I feel. You guys, I'm channeling divine masculine energy right now, um, directly, so... Your Divine Masculine is saying, I have tried to put this connection out of my mind. I have tried to put you out of my mind. I have tried to ignore you. I have tried to compartmentalize. I have tried to numb myself with drugs or alcohol or other people or other scenarios or just going into hermit mode and blocking out the world. But you're always there. You're always on my mind. You're always in my heart. I can't help but be in love with you. I can't help but want to take this leap of faith, but I'm a little bit afraid. I'm a little bit afraid right now because I've never done anything like this before. This love is unlike anything I'd experienced in my life before. So bear with me. <laughs> Have patience for me because my love for you is real and it's true. And even if you can't feel me right now, even if I'm being a complete shit to you right now. Trust that I am loving you. I need you to have faith in me. I need you to trust in me. Because I'm a fool right now. I'm being a fool, but I'm gaining that wisdom. I'm going into my heart center, and I'm gaining that wisdom, and I'm gaining that strength to show you how much I love you, how much I care, which I wasn't able to show before. I might be a fool right now. I'm a fool because I never understood love before. And you showed me love. You showed me unconditional love. And I ran from it. I didn't understand it. It frightened me. But I've never been able to help falling in love with you. And I keep falling deeper and deeper and deeper. I am here for you. I am loving you. And I will be home soon. Okay. Okay, I'm going to end there. I am sending you guys so much love, so much light, and we'll see you later.